the bottom line here is you want to be sure you're in compliance. That's the root cause of all this process. And you certainly don't want DCMA auditors coming into your uh, establishment establishment and finding you uh, in non-compliance or have an audit be in a failed status. You know, so how do you do that? It's easy to show a DCMA auditor the label, uh, but the next question they're going to ask you immediately is, how do they know that that label is compliant? When you receive your labels, you should receive two things. One, a certificate of conformance report that the vendor has stated that the labels that have been produced meet the standards uh, for uh, IUID compliance, MIL standard 130. Uh, they should also be providing you with a verification report where they show that each label has been verified against validation and verification compliance requirements. That's your get out of jail free card, if you will. That's the documentation that you can show a DCMA auditor. Hey, look, here's my certificate of conformance report. Here's my verification reports. Uh, you should never receive under any circumstances a verification report that shows a failed label. Uh, there's no reason for it. It is of no value. Uh, you certainly can't use it to pass an audit. Every single label that's verified must have a passing grade. And that documentation is essential to pass a DCMA audit. And it should be included, uh, certainly with A to B tracking, whenever we provide a customer with labels. Those documents are provided to the customer uh, with their labels. Uh, and no extra charge uh, that comes with the service. Yeah, and, and, and that's a good point. I'll share a quick story. One, one of the customers I, I deal with, one of our A to B customers that, that uh, utilizes our UC web software, uh, had a situation like that where, where they were able to show the conformance report, but also because they use UC web, they were also able to show when the affixment on that particular asset was done because it was captured in the system. Uh, and UC Web is, it, it acts as a uh, data repository to kind of keep a history of what happens to that asset. So making sure that you can produce records and information based on when you get audited uh, is essential. So, um, you know, that's just one of the instances where, you know, one of our customers were able to kind of, uh, you know, show the auditor where, you know, they've done all the, the, the proper things and they showed, you know, great stewardship in terms of not just uh, marking all their assets, but having an audit trail as well. Yeah, it'll certainly make the audit go a lot smoother uh, and it'll bring up less questions for the auditor if you have all your documentation ready to go.